In what is a case of getting what you wish for and immediately regretting it, Republicans in Iowa are actually getting ripped apart by conservatives for protecting religious liberty. Well, now in this case, of course, it happens to be the religious liberty of non-Christians. So obviously that's where the problem is. Uh, according to KCCI 8 Des Moines, the Satanic Temple of Iowa unveiled its beautiful holiday display complete with goat head and candles in the state capitol last week, where it reportedly remained for 14 days as a symbol of religious freedom. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, wh where, where's the issue? Where's the issue? Well, as I said before, when it comes to many evangelicals, which make up a lot, uh, uh, you know, a large portion of Iowa's voter base, religious freedom apparently only exists for them and no one else. Among those targeted is Governor Kim Reynolds, who received backlash from conservatives on social media for refusing to use her powers as governor to remove the altar. Now, Kim Reynolds hates this display, but she actually does not have the power to unilaterally remove it. Uh, other Republican officials came under fire for attempting to justify its inclusion in the Capitol, while of course disagreeing with it. Uh, here's one post uh, on uh, social media. Shock report, Governor Kim Reynolds allows satanic altar to be displayed at the Iowa State Capitol. What's next? Oh, I know, What? what's next? Uh, nothing, because it's religious freedom. I mean, <laughs> it's it's... Iowa State uh, Representative Brad Sherman, uh, however, called it a quote-unquote disgusting display, along with Reynolds, who uh, said that she hates it as well, uh, and called on the governor to have this blasphemous display removed immediately. I'm calling for our governor to have this blasphemous display removed immediately based on the grounds that it is unconstitutional and offends God, upon whom the state of Iowa depends for blessings. Wait, has he read the Constitution? I mean, I don't think it has, because there's literally the First Amendment. It's the first one, bro. It's right there, number one. Look at it. <laughs> Freedom of religion. It's right there. Now, he also called for the prohibition of satanic displays in our Capitol building and on all state-owned property for the display of the Ten Commandments in all buildings owned by the state. Oh, so, so basically, we want to get rid of someone else's religious beliefs, and replace it with our own. And yet, they're the ones who claim we're for religious freedom. <laughs> this is, look, this is what they mean by religious freedom. We only get the, you know, to, to put up things that we believe in. Now, that said, the whole irony of this, and I know some of you are going to point this out in the comments, that Satanists are technically also believe in the Christian religion. Now, look, the Satanic Temple, it isn't quite Satanist, as I've explained also in other segments talking about them, uh, that they're basically a humanist organization that is using, you know, uh, Christian iconography of, of the devil, whatever, uh, to, I guess, uh, not only troll them, you know, troll evangelicals, uh, you know, and, and but to really push real religious freedom, which means inclusion of everybody, okay? And so that's why they put, they put up these monuments. And of course the right wing freak out every time they put up a monument successfully because they are backed by the real constitution, right, of the United States and the First Amendment, they flip out and it's hilarious to watch the right meltdown over this, okay? <laughs> now, that said, not every right winger is melting down over this. In fact, you've got a lot of, uh, you got some Republicans that are like, we don't care, or hey, it's religious freedom. That's what we wanted, right? One example here is, uh, Iowa State Representative John Dunwell, who is a Republican, who is a Christian, uh, but he's like, hey, look, man, religious freedom. What are you going to do? Quote, as many of you become aware, last week a display was erected at the capital, Iowa Capitol by the Satanic Temple of Iowa. As I have responded to concerns from Iowans about the display, I wanted to share with you how the display came to be in my response. Dunwell explained that access for displays at the Capitol are open to anyone through an application process and that they do not discriminate on the basis of religion or ideology. He also revealed that the Satanic te uh, Temple's altar was approved with some modification after the group had applied in August. <laughs> so the modification, uh, he notes, they wanted to use an actual goat head. <laughs> I'm assuming a skull, and were prohibited from doing so. Uh, as you can see, they, they made do, right? 
Dunwell also wrote that while the display uh, stands in, quote, direct opposition to his faith as a Christian and would be classified as evil, he did not want the state evaluating and making determinations about religions as it would be an infringement on the First Amendment. To which I say, by God, he's got it right. Finally, finally, you have a Republican that's like, hey man, religious freedom. That's what we wanted. We wanted religious freedom. Uh, that's what the founders wanted, religious freedom. And so that's what we have. And we've got to respect that. Kudos, man. Kudos. Principled. It's rare. It's rare to see. Furthermore, I love this line. He says, the display is an inanimate object that has no real power in and of itself. We have nothing to fear. Also, hey, look, if you really want to stand in opposition to this, just use prayer. Okay. Good. Hilarious that he had to come out and say that. Don't worry. The, the, the display is not going to hurt you. You're going to be okay. All right. Hilarious, but the, the backlash, of course, to this was swift. Many, many people were angry. <laughs> In fact, Michael Knowles, the Daily Wire, responded, Are you first a Christian or a liberal? Well, first of all, it's not a liberal. He's actually following the literal United States Constitution. Now, if you want to say the Constitution is liberal, well, then I wouldn't have any objections to that, because it kind of is. I know, right? <laughs> uh, there's more. Daily Caller editor Grayson K. told Dunwell, you could type all this, or you could simply embrace the Boniface option and smash this abomination to smithereens. Babylon B. Managing editor Joel Berry, also uh, apparently very triggered, tweeted this, grab your sledgehammers, boys, we're going to Iowa. Oh, so you can what? Do uh, vandalism? You're going to vandalize something that you don't agree with? Huh, weird. I, wait, I, who are the violent ones? Who, who are the ones that, uh, you know, uh, go out and do vandalism? They, they freak out about, oh, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, protest riots, oh my God. We hate vandalism so much. Hey guys, let's do some vandalism of something that we don't like. That's literally protected by the First Amendment of the Constitution. Who again believes in religious freedom? Look. I believe in religious freedom. I'm not a religious person. I'm an atheist. But I do believe in religious freedom. I believe, hey, go have your Christmas tree. It's actually a pagan tree, but whatever. Do your Christ, you know, do your nativity scenes. I don't care. Have fun. You got deeply held religious beliefs. I don't care as long as you don't hurt anybody with them, okay? Here's the thing though. Freedom, religious freedom, also means that other people can celebrate their religious beliefs and that they're also allowed to have the same platform that you do. And so that's, understand, that's what these people hate, okay? They don't want freedom for all. No, they, they want the freedom to take away your freedom. The freedom to, in their, you know, their freedom to impose their religious beliefs on everyone else. That's what this so-called you know, religious freedom movement by the far right is actually all about. 